Hey there, investing iguanas. Iggy here. Today, we're diving into the latest financial results of PSA International, a global port operator based right here in Singapore. In this video, I'll break down what PSA's dip in profits means for investors like you and me. I'll explain the key numbers in plain English and share my take on whether PSA is still a ship worth sailing with. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of PSA's 2023 performance and what it could mean for your portfolio. So grab a snack and let's navigate these uncharted waters together. PSA International, a port operator based in Singapore, plays a pivotal role in the global trade ecosystem. With an extensive network that includes over 60 terminals spread across 44 countries, it's a significant player in the industry. In 2023, the company navigated through a challenging year marked by uncertainties and disruptions in global trade. Let's delve deeper into their performance by examining their latest financial results. The figures are quite impressive. In 2023, PSA set a new record by handling 94.8 million TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units, of containers. This represents a 4.3% increase from the previous year, which is no small feat considering the volume of cargo involved. The company's flagship terminal in Singapore was a significant contributor to this achievement. It moved 38.8 million TEUs, marking a year-on-year -year growth of 4.8%. Meanwhile, PSA's terminals outside Singapore also performed well, handling 56 million TEUs, a 3.9% increase from the previous year. These numbers are particularly impressive when you consider the challenging global trade environment in 2023. Despite the hurdles, PSA International managed to not only stay afloat, but also thrive and grow. This speaks volumes about the company's resilience and strategic approach to navigating the complexities of global trade. It's clear that PSA International is not just a participant in the global trade machine, but a key driver of it. Despite the impressive growth in container handling, PSA International faced some financial challenges in 2023. The company's top-line revenue, a critical financial metric, experienced a decline. It fell by 11.2% to 7.1 billion Singapore dollars. This downturn was attributed to weak trade demand and difficult market conditions, which are often unpredictable and beyond the control of any single company. Operating profit, another key indicator of a company's profitability, also saw a decrease. It dipped by 2.6%, bringing it down to 2.1 billion Singapore dollars. This is a significant figure as it represents the profits earned from the company's core business operations. However, the financial picture becomes more complex when you consider other factors such as finance costs and inflation. Finance costs refer to the interest and other charges involved in borrowing money. Inflation, on the other hand, erodes the value of money over time. When these factors were taken into account, the net profit of PSA International, which is the bottom line or the actual profit after all deductions, slid by 6.3% to 1.46 billion Singapore dollars. Thus, while PSA International showed resilience and strategic acumen in handling a record number of containers in 2023, it was not immune to the broader economic challenges. The decline in revenue and profit underscores the volatile nature of global trade and the need for companies like PSA to continually adapt and innovate. Now, a 6% drop in earnings may raise some eyebrows, but let's put it in perspective. 2023 was a turbulent year for the global economy with inflation, rising interest rates, geopolitical tensions, and supply chain disruptions. Against that backdrop, PSA's chairman Peter Vozer said the group continued to demonstrate resilience and grit while working alongside our customers, partners, and stakeholders to navigate the uncharted waters. I have to agree delivering record cargo volumes and a $1.5 billion Singapore dollar profit is no small feat given the circumstances. Looking ahead, PSA struck a cautious tone. CEO Ong Kim Pong noted that the outlook for 2024 remains unclear with potential for more economic and geopolitical volatility. However, he reaffirmed PSA's focus on growing their core ports business and developing more agile supply chain solutions for customers. They seem to be taking a disciplined approach to navigating the uncertainty. For investors, the key takeaway from PSA International's performance is that despite the challenges faced in 2023, the company still managed to generate a substantial profit. This is an encouraging sign of the company's financial health and resilience. The balance sheet of PSA also presents a positive picture with a gross debt-to-equity ratio of 0.46.
This ratio is a measure of the company's financial leverage and indicates that the company has more equity than debt, providing a safety buffer to withstand potential future economic storms. However, the near-term outlook for PSA, like many companies operating in the global economy, is somewhat uncertain. This is due to a variety of factors including fluctuating trade demand, volatile market conditions, and broader economic trends. Despite this, PSA's extensive global network and its crucial role in facilitating international trade flows make it a significant player in the ports and logistics sector. This position is likely to continue, making PSA a company to keep an eye on for investors interested in this sector. The most significant risk for PSA, as with any company heavily involved in international commerce, is a prolonged slowdown in global trade. If the world economy takes a downturn, it could have a direct impact on PSA's operations and financial performance. The biggest risk I see is a prolonged slowdown in global trade if the world economy takes a turn for the worse. PSA is a bellwether for international commerce, so as goes the global economy, so goes PSA. To sum up, PSA delivered resilient results in a tough 2023. Investors will need to keep a close eye on the macro picture and how that impacts trade volumes going forward. But for now, PSA looks well-positioned to keep the world's cargo flowing and the business chugging along. All right, investing iguanas, let's recap. PSA International posted record cargo volumes in 2023 but saw a 6% drop in profits amidst global economic headwinds. While the short-term outlook remains choppy, PSA's strong balance sheet and role as a critical cog in global trade make it a resilient player in the long run. As always, remember to do your own research before making any investment decisions. If you found this analysis helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to The Investing Iguana for more insights to level up your wealth. Drop a comment below with your take on PSA. Are you buying, holding, or steering clear? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.